rules in the matchup. Pretty much there are no rules. Anything goes, and you can pin your opponent or make them submit anywhere in the entire arena. I mean, you can do it out on the street. You can do it at the concession stands, back in the locker room. You can do it anywhere. Nice. Hurricanrana. The yes man imposing his will. This is what he feeds off of. Anticipated that attack perfectly. Hurricane Rana. Unbelievable athleticism. Too quick to catch him there. Bulldog delivered with force. And it's Brian showing some agility. Oh, the old European uppercut. Hurricane Rana. Oh, what's it gonna be? And down with the suplex. He's getting a little batter now. No need to panic, he's still swinging. We've got one of the best ever mat technicians in the ring right here, guys. How can you beat Daniel Bryan? Well, as you alluded to, Michael, you don't want to get caught up grappling with Daniel Bryan. He's got counters for almost any move and tons of submissions that he can apply from any angle. No matter how good you think you are on the mat, Daniel Bryan is probably better. Really just laying it in. And he's out of there in a nick of time. He's bringing it back inside the ring now. Karana. Ah, uh, that hurt. Byron, is it possible to avert disaster in a matchup like this? Competing in WWE is grueling enough, but when it's extreme rules and everything is legal, you are in a different level of combat. Things break down very quickly when you're only limited by your own destructive musings. Daniel Bryan stalling a bit here. Wait, look, we're running to the ring. This is the worst thing that can happen now. I want to go back to our Daniel Bryan strategy discussion from earlier. Byron argued that trying to out-wrestle Daniel Bryan wouldn't work. Corey, what would you do? The point remains that if you have a strength or speed advantage against Daniel Bryan, rely on that, because otherwise he'll keep you grounded permanently. Real quick reminder, guys, there are no disqualifications and no countouts in this one. Anything is legal. Oh, and there are enough weapons under the ring to fill an armory. Oh, shows no mercy. And that poor chair, it looks like a twisted heap. Again. Hey, it seems to be working for him. Mysterio has it going now. Things are really going his way now. As Corey mentioned, there's a treasure trove of weapons under the ring. Everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs to fire extinguishers. If you can think about it, it's probably under there. And when that's the case, it's not a matter of if you're going to get hurt. It's a matter of how badly you're going to get hurt. Moved out of the way. Great wherewithal for Rey Mysterio. Snap suplex. Momentum. The big M. The key word. It can switch and change at any time. He's in big trouble. That looked bad. Lives to fight another day. Great competitors. Great. There's not much room out there. DDT face 
first, just like he envisioned. Rey Mysterio is rolling now. Byron, Corey brings up a great point. Superstars may be able to overpower Mysterio, but they have to catch him first, which is easier said than done. Yeah, my advice to anybody taking on Mysterio would be if you get a hold of him, never let him go, because there's a good chance you won't get him again. Cedric Alexander. Back in from the floor. And Brian showing so much creativity. That's why Brian is one of the best. Unbelievable athleticism. He may be in a bad way here. Ah, yeah. uh, Daniel Bryan! Wow, that was so reversal by Daniel Bryan. What's gonna... Reverses, can he make him pay? And again, yet another counter. One step ahead there. Great technical know-how on display. Boom! What an uppercut. Jordan. Will he be victorious? And checking out his Rey Mysterio. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. And it looks like this one's going out to the floor. Daniel Bryan with a slick reversal. The impact! Ah, oh, Daniel Bryan! Oh, the heel hooks in! He's just about there. Take a sip of your wheatgrass juice and enjoy the new Daniel Bryan. Here is your winner, Daniel Bryan. The victory tied for Bryan has to feel pretty good. I can't take anything away from Daniel Bryan in this match tonight. I just wish Daniel gave that level of commitment to his job as general manager of SmackDown Live. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight.